Zimbabwe government says the vice president, Saulus Chilema, will be honored with a state funeral after he was killed along with eight other people in a plane crash. President Lazarus Chakawera had already announced 21 days of national mourning yesterday when the wreckage of the small military plane carrying Chilema and a former first lady was discovered in a mountainous area in the north of the country. There were no survivors. The government also clarified today that there were nine people on board when the plane crashed, not ten, as initially announced by the president. I reached out to Lamek Masina, VOA reporter in Lilongwe, and first asked what the plans were for the vice president's state funeral and for the period of mourning. So far, nothing has been mentioned by authorities on investigations on the cause of the crash, which killed uh, nine people uh, aboard the plane. However, uh, some rights groups uh, like Human Rights Defenders, like Human Rights Defenders Coalition, have called for immediate and thorough investigations into the plane crash. And uh, uh, the vice president, the president himself, uh, President uh, uh, Chakwera, in his national address, when he was announcing the deaths on Tuesday, uh, he said, and, and I quote, something terrible went wrong with the play on its way back to Lilongwe. So, uh, which means uh, plans for uh, uh, from authorities are also underway to, uh, to investigate. What happens in terms of filling the yeah. vice presidency? At the moment, uh, officially, that hasn't been communicated. But the, uh, the Malawi Constitution allows the president to appoint his uh, new vice president. So, uh, which means any time, any day, uh, President Chagwira will appoint the new vice president. So, currently, Malawians and many people are expecting Chagwira to appoint the vice president. More information on that will be known in the days ahead. Chalema and Chakawera had led Malawi under unusual circumstances. They both ran for president in 2019 as opposition candidates, but they teamed up to challenge election results in court over irregularities and won. They then won the rerun of the election. But Chalema had said Chakawera agreed to step down after his first term and allow him to run for president in next year's election as part of their alliance. However, Chakawera announced he would run for re-election and that kind of uh, created a friction between the two. Could you comment on that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the, 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 the major discussion uh, at the moment. Now, what will happen? when they were forming a coalition that uh, they, they would divide the two things, saying the first five came will be run by, 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 by Chakwira, and the second one will be, the, uh, will be part of the uh, UTM presidency, uh, whose leader was uh, the late Chirima. Now, uh, there are different suggestions. Some just, just think, because it's not officially communicated at, 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 at this moment, but some uh, think maybe, maybe um, their agreement will be revisited or Jaguera will maybe set aside the agreement. So it's some, something which, which, which now uh, we, we can say is still not known. Uh, it will be known maybe again soon after, maybe the funeral, the funeral, the funeral. But he definitely, uh, as, 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 as things were, when, when Chirima was alive, uh, uh, Chakwera announced that uh, he, will, he will protest again if uh, his party will choose him to lead the party, which means uh, he publicly uh, spoke against what was agreed between Chirima and Chakwera, that they will share. Uh, the, the terms uh, of governing the country. That was uh, Lamek Masina speaking uh, with me from uh, Malawi's capital, Lilongwe. 
Judith Suminwa Toluka was sworn in early Wednesday as the first female Prime Minister of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Before the National Assembly, the lower house of the DRC Parliament, Toluka and the other 54 new government members officially took office after deputies approved Toluka's action program with a required absolute majority. Tuluka, while representing her action program Tuesday afternoon, said she was proud to have broken the glass ceiling as the first Congolese woman to serve the country as prime minister. Tuluka said, by assuming this position, I'm fully aware of the historical importance of this moment and the symbolism of this appointment for the Congolese nation. I feel both the weight of the responsibility on me and an immense pride in the idea of representing within the Republic. The culmination of the efforts of all Congolese men and women tending to break the famous glass ceiling, noted Tuluka. She promised to lay the ground work for an emerging Congo by creating around 2.6 million jobs and an academy of mathematics and artificial intelligence in Kinshasa while laying out actions on national security, economic diversification, infrastructure, connectivity, public services, and climate change. Holder of master's degree in applied economics from the University Libre de Blasels of Belgium, Toluca was appointed state minister for planning in March 2023. From 2020 to 2023, she also served as deputy coordinator of the Presidential Strategic Monitoring Council, an agency affiliated with the presidential office. The new government unveiled on May 29th consists of 55 members, including the Prime Minister, six Deputy Prime Ministers and 10 State Ministers, compared to the 57 members in a March 2023 reshuffle.